Hello, hi, I pray that you are having a blessed evening, morning, noon, night, wherever you are in this old world. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I say God is still good, hallelujah, to his name. I'm going to try to wait till a lot of you get on, some of you. Um, this message is very powerful. It's one that God has been talking to me for, for a couple of days. So I really want to wait till we build up here. Praise God. Praise God. Um, you know, God says that the serpent is still doing his job. Y'all remember in the Garden of Eden? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All the way in the Garden of Eden, God says that the serpent is still doing his job. That old slithery snake, that old Satan, he is still getting the seed. God say Eve seed to bite. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I mean, you, you, I, I'm going to have to slow down because I, I want the full effect of what God told me. So just to make a long story short here, I was praying, I was praying, I was saying, okay, so this morning, I, I'm going to go way back this morning. I had got on Facebook for a little while. And what I do is sometimes I'll go through my timeline and I'll see who's preaching on Sunday. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Cause you can get a word from almost anybody. I said, come on, almost anybody. But what hurt my spirit is that, and I just have to be honest, there were no fruit. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I saw so many people preaching and teaching, but I didn't feel the spirit of God, and it vexed my spirit. And I'm not saying I'm the only one that has the spirit of God, but please understand what I'm saying. It vexed my spirit. I said, God, what is going on? What is going on that we have all these preachers, all these teachers, and yet I don't feel the spirit of God? I don't see the spirit of God. What is that that is going on? And, it, it, and and I asked God that, that, that question, and God showed me. One thing about God, God, God is a God of wisdom. Hallelujah. God is a God of truth. Hallelujah. God is a God of spirit. You can't meet, you can't ask God a question and, and just expect just one answer because God going to take you to the depths of everything because God is dimensional. He's not traditional. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God will take you to the, to the beginning, the end, and the middle of that thing. Come on, somebody, and come back around on you. Hallelujah. And God said, he said, Deanna, they don't have my spirit. I said, God, what are you talking about? He said, Deanna, so many of them have allowed the God of this world to poison their mind and to stop them from seeing who I am, my spirit, and how I operate. And I was thinking about that. I said, God, that's deep. So then he even the latter part of just about an hour ago, he, that, that's when he put the ending on that thing. I mean, so this is from this morning at 10 o'clock. To an hour ago, God ended that thing. Come on, somebody. He spoke from that time to, to the ending. He said, now here's the ending of that matter. The ending of it is, remember when we was little girls, little boys? Now, I'm 48. I'm talking to people my age and under. And those of you that are over. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, everything has been taught. It has been a learned habit. Come walk with me. Walk with me. He says, Deanna, remember the old church. I'm talking about when Jesus, or even before Jesus, they were purer, they were more powerful, and I'm going to tell you why. Because they stuck to the oracles of God. Come on somebody, hallelujah, I'm going somewhere with this. God said, the medium of the television, he said, has taken people back. Because people what? They mock what they see. Come on somebody, hallelujah. He said, the God of this world have blinded my people with fame. With money, with weight. He said, they don't even think like I think anymore. The majority of them. They think like the world. Come on, somebody. Let's talk. 80s. Every time you saw a new hairstyle, you wore a, a new trend. You wore that too. The trend of clothes. What music to wear. What to buy. What, was it the latest Jordans? Was it Adidas? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Was it Nike? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I said, God, that's good. That's good. That's good. Because when God preached to you, honey, you got to say it's good because it's good for your soul and your spirit. And I said, God, that's true. He said, everything they ever taught you was a learned behavior. Hallelujah. He said, and every time you learned it, you, you got a little bit away from me. Hallelujah. You don't hear me. That thing hit me in the core of my spirit because I had to say, God, I did it too. Before I came to the Lord, I did it too. We all did it. Come on, somebody. How many of you are still doing it? You'll get on Facebook. You'll get on TV. You'll get on um, whatever else is out there, Periscope or whatever. And, and you'll mock what you see. Come on, somebody. You, you, you see somebody that look good in an outfit. You'll go buy that outfit. Come on, somebody. Or somebody have the latest this or that. He said, and that's what my people have been doing. He said, and, and as far as it, what it does, it, it takes you away from me. 
He's saying the sad part is they don't even know it until they're transformed. Until I allow some things to happen. And then they say, what happened to me, God? And God say, this is what happened to you. You stop spending time with me and start spending time with them and start spending time with TV and start spending time with this and start spending time with that. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This thing is real. This thing is real. I say, my God, my God, you tell me the truth. How many times have we all been guilty of it to where let's go back when you first started with God? I can go back when I was 27 years old. And I'm going to say some deep things, and I'm not kidding. You know, some people, they, they lie. Just be real. They lie. I'm not lying. I remember, I'm going to tell you a story, and I'm going to go come back around. I was 27 years old. I was working at a nursing home in um, Manny, Louisiana. And I just got saved, 27 years old. And God had told me, he said, I want you to go and visit this Caucasian woman. She's getting ready to die. I said, okay, God. And it, I mean, at that time, it was real pitch. They ain't had no lights or nothing. I mean, you couldn't hardly see your hand. And, you know, I was trying to be lazy. I should have put some gas in the car, but I didn't. So I went out there and I got stuck on them dark roads. Oh, hallelujah. I never forget this night as long as I live. I mean, I was scared. And I remember being a babe in Christ. And I'm telling you what I saw. I'm in the, in the car and I'm scared. I'm like, God, you better come get me because I don't want to die here. Because, you know, back in those days, y'all y'all know racist things were still going on. And they still go on today. And I'm telling you what I decree and declare I saw. I saw an angel of God get on this side of that car. On the right hand, I saw an angel of God get on that side of the car. And they just told me to hold on. And you guys, I'm not lying by the power of God and the spirit of God. I wound up home. I don't know how I got home. All I remember is opening my eyes and I was home. And I said, okay, God, I'm going to go to sleep on that one. And I'm telling you the truth before God. You ain't got to believe me. I know it happened. Hallelujah. All right, you don't hear me. And, and, that, and that, that's just one story. I've been seeing angels since 27 years old. 27. Why God chose me, I don't know. You're going to have to go to him and ask him. And so I thought back to those times. I said, God, yeah, I used to see the angels all the time. I'm serious. I almost got hit in the wall my parking lot looking at an angel flying across the sky. You know, people thinking I'm crazy. I said, God, I know I'm close to you. I said, but I was closer then. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to be transparent because that's what you need. I, I said, so what has happened? He said, ain't nothing happened. You just stop doing what you used to do then. He said, you used to spend 24-7 with me. He said, now you give this one your time, this little bit of time. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Come on, somebody. Because somebody need to be transparent. Oh, well, come on. Because the body of Christ, you're falling. You are falling. And it's time to get back up, God says. Hallelujah. God said, he said, Deanna, they're trying to emulate and simulate everything that they see. Everybody that they know. He said, they even have the same messages. He said, everybody's trying to entertain. He said, but ain't nobody coming before me and just spending time and just asking God, what do you say? God, what do you want me to preach? God, do you want me to teach? And it's the truth. It's a trend. Come on, somebody. Let's just be. It's a trend. It's a trend. And God say, am I not a God that you can just take me as a trend? He said, back in the day, I, I used to can tell people different messages and different. He said, I'm the same God. He said, but y'all don't seek me the way y'all used to seek me. Y'all seek Facebook. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm just going to tell it how he said it. We seek movies. We, 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 we seek to be successful. We seek to be on reality shows. Anything to get attention. Anything to get a dollar. Let's just be honest. Everybody's trying to be successful. Everybody's trying to do them. He said, but what about me? He said, the whole body of Christ have gotten away from him. I'm not saying everybody don't love God. That's not what I'm saying. But you stop doing what you used to do. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. When you first fell in love with your first love. Because I don't know about you, but I would spend hours and hours and just cry and tell Jesus, thank you for saving me. Because a lot of my friends, they're not here today. They in jail or dead. I used to just thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Hours. Hours. Just, just. In his presence. Don't want to leave his presence. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. It's time to bring back the presence of God. I saw a flyer. And I'm not trying to attack nobody. But it was a flyer. Y'all know who it is. They say bring back the glory. I think she should have rephrased it. Bring, bring back God's glory. Because we ain't got no glory. Because if we try to seek the glory. It'll end our story. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. So God was saying that's why. I was so vexed this morning you guys. 
I couldn't find one person to listen to. I tried. I went through Facebook this morning just trying. Because sometimes I need to be fed too. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. That I ain't the only perfect one. I ain't the only holy one. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, I'm not perfect. And I'm looking through Facebook. And I'm looking. And I'm looking. And everybody I stop on. I had to turn it off because there was a foulness. There was an unholiness. And I can't stand unholy in my ear. And it hurt my spirit. I didn't say, oh, look at him. I didn't judge him, but it hurt my spirit. So I went to God. I said, God, what is going on? God said, this is the falling away, Deanna. They are falling away from my presence. They are falling away from me. Having a real relationship. I'm not talking about just going to church on Sunday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Saturday. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about flying all over the world like some preachers do and they think, you know, everything is okay. No, no. He said, they, they, they've stopped spending time with me. He said, and that's, and when you spend time with me, you learn of me. He said, not just time. They haven't communed with me. He said, because some of y'all, well, okay, okay, God, what you want me to preach on? And then you gone. But you don't sit there for directions. You don't sit there for instructions. And then some of y'all, he said, just talk too much. He said, don't even let me talk. They just, okay, hallelujah, my sh this is what I want, God, and, and I need you to do this, God, and, and, and thank you, Jesus. And you gone. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Whew. It's time for the body of Christ to be cleansed. It's time for the body of Christ to go back to their first love. I'm telling you what God say. You have bitten the apple like Eve. You know how the serpent came in? Because that's what he does. He comes on our territory. And that's the sad part. How dare he even come on God's territory? So right there, we made a mistake. Come on, somebody. And I say, we, because it's all of us. And, and he's making Eve seed bite that. It was a sweet nectar, by the way. It wasn't an apple. I know people say it's an apple, but scholars say it's a sweet nectar. And he and, and asking you to bite into it. And you know what else you're doing? Pastors, preachers, teachers, apostles. You're giving that, 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 that same fruit to the people. And they don't know what they're tasting. They don't even know what they're eating. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm just saying. Because you can discern what you're eating. Because you have no wisdom and discernment. It is time for people to come back to the oracles of God. It is time for you to return to your God for real. Not for play. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Because the things that I tell y'all on here. I don't know if half of you think it's a game. The other half think you just. I'm just trying to get likes. I really don't know what's your stance on this thing. But I come real with God's word. Because I spend time and I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm listening and I'm saying, God, how do we get back to you? Because without God, we can do nothing. Come on, somebody. You can only go on your flow for only a little bit. And that's your, you, could, you could preach for 30 years, 40 years, 20 years, 5 years, 1 year. You can only flow for so long in the flesh. You're going to have to go back to the Father. And some of you haven't spent time. I'm talking about leaders. You're just shooting off the hill, shooting off the hill. No power, no anointing, no yoke-destroying spirit. That's why the people are burdened. They're coming in the same way, leaving the same way, and God says it should not be. It should not be. Hallelujah. That's why when I get up on here, I have substance for y'all. You want to know why? Because I didn't spend time with God. How dare I get on here and just offer you me? The devil is a lie because you don't need flesh. You need the spirit of God. And to be honest with you, that's what people want. People are tired of the showboating. People are tired of the entertainment. Because guess what all it's doing? It, 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 it supposes you for a little bit. For a little bit. It'll hold you up a little bit. But that real stuff, at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when you're worrying. 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when, when you know bills are due. 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, when you know you, you don't know where your child at and they're out in the streets. Two or three o'clock in the morning, you don't know where your husband is. He out in the streets. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got some serious stuff and we some serious things right now. We need God. But then also, God blames you. You can't put everything on that man and woman of God. You got to go to God for yourself. A lot of you are not doing that. A lot of you get on Facebook and you're looking for a word. You're looking for this. You're looking for that. And it's right, it's right inside of you. Because God is no respecter of persons. What he'll do for me, he'll do for you. What he'll talk to me, he'll talk to you. But y'all doing that. Y'all putting people on pedestals. And ain't nothing but flesh. There's only one God. Hallelujah. 
And that's why we don't see the power of God. Because guess what God said? Another man I would not give my glory. And too many people trying to take his glory. And then get mad at the real ones. Come on somebody, hallelujah. Because most of you want to hear about blessings. But you don't want to hear about the blesser. Most of you want to hear about this and that. Miracles, signs and wonders. But you don't understand the one that possesses it is the only one. The Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So I'm telling you. It's time for you to get back close to God. Make the time. The enemy has most of you so busy running after a dollar, a man, or a woman, or even your children. Trying to be young again. So many of y'all. So many of y'all doing so much stuff. And, and most of y'all was doing that mannequin challenge. Y'all don't even understand that everything, and, and I'm not kidding, everything is it, it, to throw you off. Y'all don't even know what the mannequin means. I, I go, you, you know, you don't have an answer for everything, right? So I, so somebody asked me, I Google everything and then I go to God. You guys don't even understand what y'all be doing. And, and to be honest with you, it's like, it behooves me to keep telling you because the more that you do worldly stuff, the more that you become worldly. And if you don't understand that, then I don't know what to tell you. Don't you see what has happened? The world has came into the church and has turned the church worldly and God with all his love, is trying to come back and say, return to me. Return to your first love. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You cannot do this without God. I know you think you're, I know you think you're a doctor. And, and most of y'all do. Y'all are doctors, all right. Okay, okay. Don't heal nobody, but you're a doctor. Okay, all right. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what God said to me. He said, Deanna, their intelligence... Have kept them away from me. Y'all so intelligent. Until y'all don't know how to get in the spirit. Mm -mm -mm. There it goes. There it goes right there. Y'all so intelligent. Till y'all don't understand. Who is the spirit. Intelligence is keeping. You away from God. Because I'm a real with you. When God tell you to do something. It is not going to be this intelligent thing. God may tell you to do something so odd that it blow your mind that you'll think, should I do it? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's the ones that know God, know what I'm talking about. God asked you to do some unusual things. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand my thing is not to bash pastors and preachers and teachers, but to tell you, go back to God. Start communing with God. Start relying on God. Start depending on God. You cannot do this without God. And that's what's happening. We have a generation that have learned how to manufacture blessings in the flesh. You have learned how to flow in the flesh. And you have no spirit. No spirit of the living God. Because let me tell you something. When somebody's spirit filled, even a sinner can feel it. Because that's the power of God. That's why it's a shift. And God is shifting and still shifting because, oh now, understand this. God says this. The church came in power and we're going out in power. But I'm going to tell you that right now. Ain't nobody can stop that. But do we realize where we at? That's the thing. Because some of you, you do and some of you don't. Mm -mm -mm. So I just want to tell you, please, please, please. We're in the days of Noah. That's what God told me to. He said, Deanna, we're in the days of Noah. What were they doing in the days of Noah? It only was a few select. And the rest were doing what they want to do. You know how many died? We were in the days of Noah, people. And I know you don't want to hear it. Because you don't. Y'all like to hear blessings. Y'all don't want to hear the truth. But that's all I got for you is the truth. We're in the days of Noah. And I'm telling you right now. God is building that boat. And I pray to God that you make it on that boat while you're sitting up there playing. Sitting up there still doing you do in the world thinking, okay. Because when that door closed, it's closed. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I only tell you the truth because I love you. Don't care and you can't do nothing about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because those that are the children of God love the children of God. Come on somebody. So bless you. I pray that you understand and, and play this again. Because sometimes when you play stuff the first time, you kind of like, you know, you get it, but you don't really get it. You know what I'm saying? Because the anointing, that, that's why I try not to do like another do over because the anointing that's on this, I'm not saying it's not going to be on the other one, but it's something about that first time. 
and please share this and you know just 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 do what you gotta do people we we we're in that time we're in that time and i you know god is god is so good god has given us time to get it together don't you see that don't you see that a lot of you say well i wish it would end now no you don't because so many people would die it, it, it'll blow all our mind because the ones that you think are gonna make it let me blow your mind right now are probably the ones that's not gonna make it and the ones that y'all saying gonna make it those be the ones sitting up in heaven and you'd be like how did that happen god because the one thing about this church Y'all look on the outside and y'all think it's all about money and all this other stuff. And God said, no, no, no. I look at the heart. That's the difference. And some of y'all still do the same thing. The rich person, y'all tell them to come sit right in the front. That person that don't have nothing, probably busted pants and try to come to church, y'all will put them way in the back. Y'all still haven't gotten it. This church still haven't gotten how God really operate. <laughs> I pray we get it before it's too late. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon, Roll Out Soldiers. <laughs>